from Germany, from Berlin. We arrived in the end of, of, of October. And we had now been waiting for actually this hackathon. <laughs> Um, and we were had like some time, and in the meantime, we tried to uh, adapt a, a project that we already started in, uh, in Berlin uh, to Taiwan. Um, I can just uh, and we were also inspired by saying like democracy needs more uh, programmers or hackers, developers, um, of course, lots of engaged people in general. So we thought maybe we can do something about it, and we researched a bit of Taiwan and. I hope I'm not completely off, but I uh, like we figured out like that. Okay, from the hardware that was traditionally going on here, lots of stuff goes to uh, China and, and maybe Vietnam, and maybe like we read a lot that maybe uh, software could be a solution, so that like it's more should be more service oriented, and we figured also out that um, in general, like in the world, like a lot of. Uh, uh, programming jobs or computer science related jobs like open and there's not enough uh, uh, people to, to, to follow these job openings and uh, we also found some statistics on Taiwan like uh, here it says for example this was three years ago so how many job openings and how many how many uh, people come to fill these positions and now how it's today so yeah a few more people now are there but like the demand grows faster um, so yeah, we thought maybe we can do something about it. Um, ah, yeah, so we thought, okay, maybe we know some JavaScript, and we already had like start, uh, started a, a little school in, in, in Germany for the refugees, and also we tried with some kids and you know, we have open source and for free, and maybe we can adapt this um, to teach people maybe to to use the software to make something on top of the hardware because this is already present in Taiwan. Um, and then we thought, okay, what could be the model? So we checked in the US and Canada, there's like a lot of boot camps popping up everywhere, and they're like 138% market growth. Uh, and now in the US, there's like 91 uh, full-time boot camps, and like the average cost, that's the problem, because it would not be for everyone, would be like uh, around $11,000 uh, in it for 30 weeks. So translated to the app uh, from from the average salary in the states to the average salary in Taiwan, this would be an average tuition of two thousand five hundred dollars in US dollars in Taiwan. Um, so we thought, okay, let's let's uh, create something, and because JavaScript is kind of growing so fast, and there's like a huge ecosystem of reusable little modules that maybe can be combined to make it easier to build some stuff fast by reusing open source code that already exists. Um, so we started actually on, on, on the, sec the second uh, of this month, making like uh, every day, uh, I mean not every day, like not on Thursdays, making, can, can you go back? Okay. So, so making like all these boot camps, like every day from seven to 11, we had like a little uh, uh, free coding lessons and people just came and these are just some pictures from some of the events, like we had now uh, a lot in the last uh, two weeks or two and a half. And so all this stuff is open source and it's online. Um, if you can, next. So we had like uh, back in Berlin this alpha version, which was just we put it together somehow. It's st st still uh, visible on uh, wizardamigos.com. Oh, okay. I see. So we need collaborators. Yeah, we need collaborators. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Yeah, please come and ask us if you're interested. We can do more. Thanks.